So today's topic is basically about uh, coming back to my hip again. So I got the uh, bone spur in my hip and you know I, I really have found that the elliptical is the best cardio for me um, to not bother that and then as that seemed to become sometimes a little too redundant doing the same thing over and over again probably overuse of that pattern um, I'd mix in some some spin bike kind of standing up riding on that as well as um, I actually do this thing where if you have one of those lying down like leg press machines you're lying on your back and you have the uh, I guess sled over your shoulders it's a selectorized equipment with the pin and I'll put that on like a real light weight and I'll literally just jump left leg right leg left leg right leg two legs wide narrow just kind of jump all around and uh, make it kind of like a plyo session and so that's another thing I've integrated but bottom line being that recently I've just I've just really had to uh, think a little harder about what I'm doing because you know my hips really been flaring up and you know my shows are closing in I really don't want to have to slow down my cardio and stuff if I don't have to but at the same point I can't be stupid and, and let my hip um, flare up so here's what I've done at the moment and it's actually kind of another one of these cases where sure I feel like I'm, I'm making it easy on myself but at the same point I'm like what's wrong with working smarter not harder so imagine um, I discussed previously how I'll do those little elliptical breaks and I'll be doing say you know um, let's say four minutes at a time and maybe that includes five 15 second sprints in there so you know between those sprints particularly on like a low carb day or whatever you know it starts to get kind of tough and again it's not that I can't handle it's just that you know I'm still trying to keep in this hit done seven days a week and still doing uh, all my leg training and stuff and so it kind of dawned on me the other day so I'm trying to think I'm like what's a way that I can get off the elliptical to give my hip a, a break from that movement pattern but at the same point it seems to me to be the most uh, the most effective way for me to do my intervals so the way that I'm doing them randomly in the day like that um, I like having that low impact machine so that I don't feel like I need to be super warmed up I can just jump right on it and you know go all out and be fine so what I did was say at four minute block there's five sprints I would do all five of my 15 second sprints all together right away so you know like 15 seconds all out literally just sit there maybe like 10 seconds catch my breath for a few 15 seconds catch my breath of course obviously coming back to my previous conversation all out is relative obviously you know it's not life or death but you know pretty darn hard and uh i'd say as hard as most people probably go during their hit intervals and um so get all those five done and then just finish out all of the I guess recovery interval in one shot and it just seems a little easier on the legs the same total amount of work at the same intensity is still being accomplished but I just seem to recover and it's not quite as draining on those days when you're just really not feeling it and so again you know perhaps doing this for a little bit here I'll, I'll come to the conclusion that maybe I don't like this style or I don't think it's as effective but you know, as I said on, on paper I can't see why it wouldn't work just as well because the same volume of work at the same intensity is still being performed um, it just feels a little bit easier which again I said if the ultimate goal is to get as much uh, volume of cardio without hampering my leg training to allow me to eat as high as possible etc I think that's all a good thing so that's how I'm rolling with it right now um, yeah and so um, just maybe a strategy to consider I think Alberto Nunez was actually um, his client Andrea Valdez had a thing about boom start she was calling it where basically you, know, you start with some real high intensity stuff kind of get I guess you would say you know some fatty acids and things mobilized um, from your adipose and then follow that up with some you know more moderate or low intensity work to kind of fully oxidize off all those fats that you've liberated um, and so I don't mean to say that like this idea that I have you know, like I'm the first to ever think of this or anything like that but simply just that uh, doing that approach all the sprints at once and then following it up with the rest just at this moment seems to be a decent strategy and so so given that so again like I said the, the point was to spend less total time on the elliptical so those recovery parts what I'll do I've done a couple different things um, find a hill outside my gym just kind of jog up and down that or um, there'll be like a cement ledge just maybe like 18 inches off the ground 
And what I'll do is I'll like line myself up on the ledge and then just, you know, like go straight down it. But every time say like right leg. So it's like step up with the right, move forward, step up with the right, move forward, step up with the right, move forward. Or like step up with the left, move forward, step up with the left. And just kind of back and forth. Again, something different as my recovery intervals rather than all elliptical. So again, that way I'm getting, um, I guess the, the sprints on a piece of equipment that seems safest for my hip, but yet getting my body a break from just redundancy on that same movement pattern, which I think is unfortunately kind of being the demise of, of my hip at the moment. So that's how I'm tackling that. Things are going pretty well. Um, hopefully one or two of you got something out of that. See.